Hey everyone, Donut here. So you guys were giving me shit about how I said ideas yesterday. I did, I did, you got me fucked up now. I can't even, I can't even say it right because I've been saying it so many times in my head because of all the messages I've been getting about how I say it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's because I'm from Alabama or something. You guys know I, I completely screw up the pronunciation of like everything. So what I'm going to start doing, everyone, instead of doing my Friday Leo recaps that I was doing, I'm going to start doing a little bit of news every day because when I do the Friday Leo recaps, it completely wipes out my Friday and I don't have time for anything else. I've got a lot of big projects coming up that I'm going to have to work on and I can't completely throw away my Fridays like that. So every day I'm going to be doing a little bit more newscasting. If there is a big shooting or a big incident, I'll save that to make a whole video on. This way I can space out all the awesome stories I find and on Friday I don't have to cut some out to save time. I was expecting there to be another Battle of Berkeley today and so far there hasn't been. <laughs> Ann Coulter was supposed to speak at Berkeley today, but she had to cancel it due to security reasons. Regardless of her canceling it, Base Stick Man and a ton of other people still showed up. Antifa and all those other douchebags really didn't show up in force today. In some people's eyes, it might seem like a win that Antifa didn't show up, but by Ann Coulter canceling her speech for security reasons, it kind of looks like Antifa and all those other douchebags really won this one. As I said, Antifa didn't really show up in force, but some people did show up. One guy in particular showed up, refused to take his mask off, and the University of California Berkeley police quickly arrested him. We want to, we want to let you go too, but we need some help. I mean, I feel like I'm being criminalized. Why would you take a mugshot of me? We're not taking a mugshot. It's not going in any computer system. Where is it going? It's Why so, would you take a mugshot? It's so we can recognize you there because we need to know. Why do you have to recognize you? If you're not, if you're not going to cooperate with what we're asking you to do, I mean, what did I do to not cooperate? All right, take the backpack off, please. Thank you. That's what he wants. Placing you under arrest. No, no, thank you. No, no, Hands no, behind no, your back. No, 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 no. Thank you. So I'm going to ask you again. You are now under arrest. Do you have an ID card on you somewhere or in your backpack? Can I take the mask off? Huh? Can I take the mask off? I'll take it off we'll, in a moment. We'll do that in a few minutes now. Okay. Thank you. And one more day to the penal code of the officer in the performance of her duties. That's okay. what you're I didn't under take arrest. off my mask. Listen, now that you're under arrest, we have to identify you. Do you have an ID card or something with your name in your backpack? Yeah, I have an ID card. Okay. 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 Ok
Video has also been released showing Shelly Maranto, a former desk officer with Bresley. Who the hell is Bresley at? I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, too. Officer Shelly Maranto was a desk officer in Bresley, Louisiana. Other officers happened to catch her on her body camera pulling up outside of a call and acting like a complete crazy bitch. Fucking clutch going to fucking jail! What? I'm gonna beat the fuck out of- There was some kind of domestic dispute between her brother and her sister-in-law, and she pulled up threatening to kill the sister-in-law and started waving her service pistol around. Do you hear me? Oh my god! I'm gonna fucking beat the fuck out of- No! She no! Oh! Call your fucking name on the motherfucking radio! I'm gonna kill him, you hear Shelly. me? Calm I'm down. gonna fucking kill him! Shelly. Everybody else is calm, man! She got that in EBR. I hope she fucking comes out, you fucking whore! Or Bruley. You fucking bitch! Fortunately for everyone, she resigned shortly after the incident. Bresley Police Chief Jonathan LaFoe said it definitely puts a black eye on all of us. Now, I'm just waiting for one of these videos to pop up on Facebook with 10 million views, giving no context and showing her acting like a fucking crazy person. Cop haters and cop blockers and free thought project assholes, I can assure you, the police do not like her either. I know you're going to put up a little video, though, with big black letters that says, this is how police act all the time, or some stupid shit like that. But no, no, no one agrees with her actions. No one. Anyways, I really, really, really want to stream tonight, so I'm going to cut this one short. I'll be doing another video like this tomorrow if there's not a big incident that I can break down. Everyone, please have a fantastic Thursday. The weekend is almost here. Just hang in there. Tell your grandma about me. Tell your great-grandpa about me. Tell your cat about me. Like, share, subscribe, do all that other shit. And everyone, please have a fantastic Friday.